What's up, timekeepers? Me, Time Gamer, here bringing you a little new game for you guys called Kona. So, if ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright, guys, so today I'm gonna be starting a new game. It's actually weird. I've I only heard of this game about yesterday, and what actually caught my attention for this game, usually, I like it's weird. I, I'm surprised I haven't heard about this game before. It's called Kona, of course, as you can see at the screen there. Uh, basically, this is a game uh, that what the part that caught my attention. It's from Northern Canada, but the best part is it's not necessarily Northern Canada. It's Northern Quebec, where I'm from, the Quebec, the province of Quebec in Canada. And uh, when I noticed that, because I couldn't, I couldn't get the description uh, off the article I was reading for some reason, and I saw a couple of screenshots, and it had like French writing. And since it was taken part of Northern Quebec, it's actually. Uh, in northern Canada, I assume, well, it's part of Quebec, and then I went looking around for information on it, and it is. It's actually a lac Atemapec or something like that, to better say, uh, Atemapec Lake or something like that. Anyway, I'm going into details, uh, I don't, the, I think it's an interactive story or something like that, I'm not sure, so we'll, we'll di discover it, uh, together as best as possible. And, uh, yeah, this is probably gonna be a full play playthrough, so I'll play the game from start to end with minimal cuts so you guys can enjoy the story as much as I will and we'll get started so I'm happy to play it because this is a game made in Quebec and it's a game taking part in Quebec in a, in a huge snowstorm so yeah we'll go from there so without further ado let's just jump right into the game let's go oh hello this is cool okay okay northern Quebec October 1970 Carl Fulbert sought information for a living that is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. <laughs> but that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Ooh, I can drive. Let's go. Okay. He had set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. All right. A little music's good, too. Now, I'll say right off the bat, these are not usual Quebec roads. They usually look way more disgusting than this. And I would probably be going like this half the fucking time. Sort of like that, but... When the roads right. were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was right. also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive <laughs> there anyway. The rest stop. Alright, that's better. Okay, I, I screwed around with the setting and it wasn't working. Alright, we're out of the truck. We're going to explore. Saving. Hello, sir. I'd like to pass through your uh, your gate here. Read flyer. Man stand, il fait bon vivre. It will, it will be good. Yeah, I guess that can translate about that way. Uh, okay. Okay, I thought I was keeping it. I can't. I, I can look at the map, but I can't pick. Okay, so, so I will be sometimes reading whatever's written in French, try to translate it for you at the same time. So. To keep that in mind. Oh, I can open a garbage can. Oh. He did not know we needed the equipment. Because he did not know he was going to be in trouble just yet. Oh, those are cool. Wow, those are wood carvings. That's pretty cool. So, I don't know this region. It's, it's more very north Quebec, so I never went there before. But uh, usually, usually around Quebec, it usually look the wooded areas look about the same a bit. Oh, an open lock! Look at that, open. Oh, tools. Okay. Fire starters. Those are good. Deadbolts. And I guess I won't need any tools. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north. <laughs> which helped to re-establish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's <laughs> boundaries. Alright. 
All right, that that's a uh, that's um, Emperor Duplessis. That's sort of more of a joke because in Quebec we never had <laughs> we never had emperors. So because uh, he was looked more like very uh, authoritarian uh, back in the day and in, in the fifties, uh, if I remember correctly. So a bit of a history for you guys. I'll try to put some in there because I know a bit about it, not too much, but. Hamilton right. never mentioned a road blocking barrier. All Why right. was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. All right. Still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. All right. This game looks aesthetically looks cool. It's it's not like the most advanced graphics, but it looks actually pretty pretty cool. I have to say. All right, so let's get back in the truck. Why can't I run close to the truck? All right, back in the truck we go. Okay, now I'm driving. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. All right. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Okay. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Okay. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. Can I not now step out? wasn't a good time to wander about. Uh -huh. Hamilton was still out there. All right, let's keep going then. I wanted to see why there was a crashed boat there on the side, but... Do do. It's a cool game so far. All right. Oh, shit! Oh, that's not... Oh, that wasn't good. And I'm missing a kidney in a, in a bath full of ice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's the next part. A few hours later. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. Okay. I I'm stuck. Oh, that's not good. Kona. All right. All right. Oh, the whole thing collapsed. That's not good. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. Why? Open the door. Can I crouch? It was a small locked box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left a chance. Read. All right. Let's look in the trunk, see if we can. Yes, we can. It was so cold, already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Ooh, first aid kit. We're gonna need that. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. Let's his hope so. Depended on it. All right, there's a road over here, but that's a maybe a dead end. All right, let's let's go over here. Oh, there we go. South of Tamepec. Okay, a little shack. We're good. Wonder when under stress, Carl is less accurate and runs shorter distance. All right. 
cl close the door. Okay, fire starter. Matches, okay. Start fire, I'm missing logs. I got a lantern. All right. Yeah, I'm cold, I'm gonna need some logs here. Okay, let's see if there's some outside. Carl couldn't give up. Surely something in there could be useful. I need wood. Uh. Alright, let's take a couple of these. Alright, close this bad boy. Let's start us a fire. Alright. We're warming up. Uh, I don't like opening a fire next to a propane tank and stuff like that. Uh -uh. Right. Whew, we're warming up. Carl, ever diligent in his work, always carried his log oh, okay. on, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Hmm. Okay, I do have a map. Where am I? I'm there. Menestan Sud. Okay. Oh, I have a flashlight. The Polaroid, Carl's long standing and faithful ally, has seen a share of husbands caught red handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Even better than he had hoped. Carl Faubert had succeeded once more, and was now on his way to new adventures. With a chain? Okay, let's, uh... Let's grab a bit more logs here. I don't know how much space I have. Uh, equipment, consumables, inventory. Okay, so I... Okay, so I already have, like, a set amount of stuff. Okay, I still have a limit, though, but... Okay. Right, let's go the other way, see if we can find something here, cuz... Can I go back to my car? Did I have equipment in the back? Withdraw the pot. Oh, I couldn't put shit in my truck. Okay. That's cool. Carl is in bad shape. He needs to heal his wound and warm up his body before... Okay. Sorry. Okay, I fucked up. Consumable. Did I use it? Yeah. Okay, I do have a weight management thing going on here. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, you can see the logs in the back. That's cool. Oh, okay. I needed to put the chain on the tires. Okay, okay. Okay, we're we're out of we're out of that ditch. Okie dokie. Cool. All right. On the road again. Menestan region. Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. There's a, there's a, I think there's a cabin right here. Roy's house, okay. Carl was dying to stretch his legs. But he had to stay focused on the task at hand. Okay, okay, okay. Mr. Narrator, I got it. Okay, though. I don't know why I didn't get the chains to, for the tires earlier. I was like, 
I'm surprised. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that I didn't know. I remember that. Well, I've never personally used chains on my tires, but. Okay, so there's another rest stop right up. I think he said the guy was at the general store. Another, another place right here. Oh. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. Oh, another accident here. Magasin General. Last chance. La chance. Sorry. <laughs> Rendezvous. Cool. We made it. The general store. I'm gonna put gas in this mother lover. Here or I guess we have to go uh Something fell to the bottom of the box. Uh no, that's not it. Did I did I pick up lock picks earlier? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I need a key, I guess. Oh no! Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. Oh no! But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Da, da, da. Ooh, the radio doesn't. Photographer. Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? Torn anvil, Mr. John Vaughn, Montreal. Uh. Centre de direction des informations. Then so uh, center for information. Directions to center of uh, uh, center for directions of for information. Ottawa, 165 Ontario. All right. There's been a scuffle. Scuffle. The place is a mess. Yes, you're right. The radio seems like it's going on this last fucking quarter. Mmm. Kona Cola. What is going on here? Okay. Ah, yes. Don't even travel half the province okay, to come here. Didn't travel, okay. Okay. Ooh, fire starters. I'm gonna need that. Hey, I'll pay you back when I see you next time, okay? Thanks. Okay, lockers that's been open. The general store also serves as a post office for the locals. Okay. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Yeah, Perhaps was. that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. All right. A nice picture of the Magasin La Chance store, seemingly taken the day it was first opened. Okay. It feels frozen in time, from an era long forgotten. Hmm. Amateur hunters showing some pride in having killed a nice pelted beast. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within ten years, Carl thought. Alright. Little well, pamphlet again. Brochure 2, page 1. Quebec's Klondike. Flyer. Read. All right. Uh, cash register instruction to open casher. Push, push the price. Punch the price. Two numbers minimum. Press sell. Turn the crank tw two times. Punch the machine if it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, and then it's written in French at the bottom. Okay. Punch the price. Tw punch the price. Two numbers. Press sell. Turn the crank. Turn the crank twice. Why the fuck? Okay. Inspect. Secretary wouldn't be luxury in here. Yeah. Oh, actually. 
All right. Uh, turn. That's the garage. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Okay. That's uh, that's unfortunate. All right, let's go see the cash register. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Fuck was that? Let's go see what's outside. That's what it wants me to do, right? A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. What happened? Oh shit. There's wolves here. I need a key. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Wolves. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. What run away? Wolves. Always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? Ooh, okay. All right, let's uh, I'm um, yeah, let's not do that again. Megamar. Okay, punch the price. Then press sell. Here comes the money. Okay. Close. I'm not a robber, so I won't rob it for money. Oh, there's a note here. Holy shit, that's a long note. Carl you know what? that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. And when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risks by going to work. Customers could could catch it, could, could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry. I will have a nice doctor's note, which I'm going out to get right now. Sadly, in the meanwhile, I will have to close down the shop. Unless you would like to come fill in for me, I wouldn't dare advise you. After all, you must know how it's done. This is yours. With kind regards, your dedicated manager, Jill. But oh, wait, God damn it! It's not what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, yeah. Nope. I'll get it, guys. Give me a minute here. Uh, car crash. Cash register instruction. Isabel photo envelope. Letter to from Jill. Okay. Oh my God! I keep doing the same mistake every time. Okay. Okay. There's all that for nothing. Hello? The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Are the wolves still out there? Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. Fuck. Okay, the wolves went over there. Prince? Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? Let it be known, torn paper. Let it be known. Your air. Seems like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Mm -hmm. Let it be known, you're nothing more than a brigand, than a br brigand. A robber, a garbage hoarder, a viper, a leech, a monster. You're holding a knife at my throat. Too bad for you, but uh, okay. All right, baby, you still working here? I think that's the gas, actually. Okay, dokie. Uh, 
The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Can I not pull the crank, turn this on or something? Okay, there was still the, um... Or some missing logs. Was that a hatchet? I thought I saw a hatchet there. Okay, nothing of importance here. Uh, to unlock. Mm. Inventory. I guess that's the post key. Only. Ooh. The murder weapon. What was that doing there? Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. All right. It is as a citizen of Her Majesty in the Free Economics Chamber of the World that I must address what follows to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at, the, at length when I'm requesting immediate help from my country. I believe the free world is at grave danger. A member of my community, the Honorable... All right. All right, there's a cooler here. And this the is... The milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. The milkman had to drive okay. by I every thought I could week take to some. fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Withdraw. I would need a, just a couple logs here. Okay, a truffle look-alike. It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Now let's go. There is a lot. There's some stuff here. Eastern Atemapec. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets. And he didn't like to miss out. Okay, I guess I'll... Why, why would I throw it away? Hmm. Oh, well, shit. Carl wondered what the hell could that thing be? It looked like a man fossilized in ice. What the f- All of a sudden, Carl felt like he was pulled inside a world of dreams. A cold, unknown dimension. Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. Oh, shit. Okay. Mysterious journal. To all appearances, this was a hunting law. Better yet, a war diary. The beast enjoys long slumbers. The sanctuary seems impregnable. Ice is everywhere. I need to exercise patient and wait for it to come out. To think like a hunter. The beast often invades the settlements bordering the lake. It terrorizes the white people. They never seem it they never see it coming. But they feel it, its presence, a cold thread grabbing at their innards. The beast ex excites the wolves make them more aggressive one one attacked me had cut its throat the blade digging into its flesh made the sound of a taunt wire uh, the beast is getting closer to the villagers it's it moves at night bringing heavy snow and strong guts gust of wind along with it I tracked it to no avail I do not know the white man froze in ice frozen in ice but I do know this is the work of the beast it attacks curdle the blood of its victims White men know nothing of its force of nature. I touched the ice imprisoning the white man. I saw things, but I did not understand them. Alright. 
Just let's keep... Okay, what the fuck's going on here? What could Necklace. these engraved numbers mean? A fresh path suddenly appeared before Carl. I'm hoping I'm not dying. Okay, where are you going? Right, let's keep going. Something tells me I'll be like miles away from where I'm from my truck at. Oh, there's my truck. Is that a vision of my truck? Jill's wallet. Carl had that feeling you get when you immerse your frozen hands in hot water. What happened? Now at least he knew who the unfortunate man petrified in ice was. Jill Lachance, the general store's manager himself. Makes sense. Where in the name of God am I? That had to be the worst parking job ever. Okay, I'm right outside the general Carl store. To judge, though. It may be customary to park like that around these parts. Or not. <laughs> Alright. We're back at the store with my truck. Hopefully, uh... Uh, what did I want to do here? Well, I got numbers. I need to warm up, I think. Ooh, oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. Hmm, oh, can I move ladder? It's always useful. Oh, there's the, there's the garage key. More documents. Customer credits. Okay. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Makes sense. Duct tape. Ooh, matches. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What the fuck is this? Okay, that looks like sawdust. All right, let's go see what's in the garage. There's smoke coming out of there, so... Must be a fire going... Oh, no, it's the... Ooh, a classic. Okay, oh, more drawers. Files and screwdrivers. Hardware, okay. I guess I'm gonna build some stuff. Pliers are always important. Okay, hardware. Ooh, a radio. Yep, this is, uh, it sounds like traditional, uh, music, just without words and, I guess, more custom to this. Uh, at least we, we know it's fragile, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for stating the obvious. Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. Ah, uh, God. Okay. All right. All right, now I have to... Oop, there's something over here. The cleanest spot in the area. All right, let's go back out. It must be getting cold or something. Actually, wasn't too bad. Oh, now I can start the generator. Oh, the wire was broken. Ah. You have to make sure the power... So it says off. 
The garage. Oh, the okay. note explained that the garage yeah, yeah, and yeah. the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. All right. So technically now the garage should have energy. But yet there's no light in here. The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Hmm. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing ah, stature, yes. car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. All right. So I need this crowbar, I guess. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would Ooh. come in handy at some point. <laughs> Thank you, narrator, for the obvious statement. Okay, there we go. Gonna need gas in my car, eh? Alright, let's see uh, if we can put some gas in my vehicle. Given the circumstances, leaving with an empty tank would be a death warrant. Carl had to refuel. Mm-hmm, makes sense. That's it? Did, did you really fill it up? I, I just want to make... Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. Let's get back in the truck, to the warmth, hopefully. So where the fuck am I going? Okay. Guess we'll go this way. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this first video here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. I'm really enjoying the series. It's very mysterious. It has some suspense and a bit of a horror, especially that flashback there we saw. <laughs> uh and what else yeah everything looked pretty cool in the game so far so uh yeah so hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, i'll definitely keep playing this game i really want to get to the bottom of what the, the mystery is for this so uh of course if you enjoyed the video like the video subscribe to the channel we really appreciate that follow me everywhere me time gamer twitter Twitch, facebook instagram and right here you can forward slash me time gamer where i post a new video every week monday to friday 8 p.m eastern time well thank you so much guys for watching i will see you in the next video keep on keeping on